Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're taking a look at Dirt Rally 2.0. Going to check out some gameplay to start us out with, a bit of, uh, of a rally stage and some rally cross. I'm going to come back to the main menu afterwards and check out everything else. Right, let's jump into it and check it out. Six right, into six left, 30, four right, into slow, five left, and turn three right. Opens of a crest, 30, four left long of a crest. Opens 100 over jumps. Keep right of a jump, a tree, and keep left of a big jump, 30. Keep right of a crest, into five left. Caution, four right tightens, three of a crest. Into six left long, opens of a crest, jump, 30. Slow, six left long, opens 20, turn unseen, don't cut one right. Opens, tarmac, 50. Keep middle of a crest. Caution, keep right of a 30 to chicane, one left. One right exit, six left, 300. Turn unseen, square left, 50. Four right long, opens, 80 over bumps. Four left, opens over crest. Extra long, tightens three, into four left, 30, cut, five left, into five right long, into six left, opens of a crest, 30, four left, tightens of a crest, into five right, 30, five left, 40, Left of a crest, 50. Six right of a crest, into six left long, 100 of a bumps, six right, extra, extra long, upwards of a jump, 50. Four left long, narrow, and turn three right long. of a crest, into five left long, tightens four, fifty, six right, extra, extra long, into six. Ready. Go, go, go.
Right, so that was the gameplay for you there then guys. Um, so on the main menu, you've got my team, this is your single player career, so you've got events. Right, so in here we've got uh, careers for rally and rally cross. You've also got challenges, dailies and weeklies, uh, the community ones there. Then you've also got AI challenges, daily and weekly. Um, so yeah, you can see the vehicle that you need on the bottom left of the screen for each of those to enter and compete. You get one shot, I believe, once you complete it, that's it. Um, we have to wait till the timer runs out. You see the 12 minutes left on these two before they change. You also manage your garage as well from my team. So in here, so you've got your uh, available cars. Obviously, if one's in an event, as you can see there, I'm using that in the rally cross. We can't use it for anything else um, until it's free to use again. Um, you can purchase vehicles, you've got new and used. That's what I'll do then, as I'll just scroll through so you can see all the cars available. Um, I'm not sure if this is every car available in game or if the used vehicles change at all and others become available. I'm not too sure on that. So uh, we'll just see what's available for now anyway. Um, there's quite a few. We'll just scroll through so you've got your Rally GTs here, look. And your Super Thousands, uh, your Cross Carts, uh, into RX2 and Supercars. There we go. So that's uh, all the way to the end there. So there's quite a few to choose from. Um, you need to build up your cash, obviously, to buy these from completing uh, events such as your career and the community and AI challenges as well. And you've got your staff. So uh, you can upgrade your staff. So just go to the code driver. Um, we can put his wheel replacement ability up if we want to. We can train him up, cost 10,000 credits. Logistics knowledge and repairs ability, so that's all sort of roadside stuff, so it reduces your time for repairs at roadside. Chief engineer, engineer, you can also add other staff as well. Also, while I remember, I just did quickly want to show you your overview of the vehicles. So you can see there we've got engine mapping one. Um, they upgrade as you use vehicles over time. You get upgrades for those available. Um, so you can see that in there. You need to reach a certain distance driven to unlock those then you get these other upgrades as well they're already available they just cost you quite a fair bit of credits to add those to a car repairs are across the board as well so if you damage a car in Korea and then want to use it say in free player online if it stays damaged then you have to uh, fix it elsewhere so uh, sort of realistic in that sense that if you're using a vehicle for something and it gets damaged that damage and as I said earlier on uh, that Opal Corsa that we've got there. I can't use it in anything else because it's in my single player career at the minute. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything there. Into free play you've got historic, uh, your world rallycross championship, custom championships and time trials. Access to the store uh, and announcements for the game and then obviously finally you've got your options so let's just quickly go into game settings. There's loads of loads of different things in here you can turn on and off your preferences, your assists, and on-screen display, graphics, uh, inputs, so you can see connected devices, um, input reporting, so you can test if you've got a steering wheel attached, you can test that it's all working correctly, I'm just messing around with the uh, controller at the minute, and the device history, you can also go into your connected devices and uh, change your input bindings, advanced settings, so you can do all your dead zones etc and change your uh, vibration and feedback as well so it's quite in depth with that audio settings again all sliders for that sort of stuff and your profile obviously you create your profile at the beginning of the game save profiles there as well race net is uh, I say you go that's race net so you link your account and uh, and whatnot most games do that now not got it on link just back out legal stuff and credits as well so there you go then guys that's been a preview of dirt rally 2.0 hope this gives you a nice little insight to the game what it looks like what it plays like if it does please leave a like on it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon